All right, Medea fans. We are less than a week away before the final Medea film comes to theaters, a Medea family funeral. As of right now, the forecast is calling for snow in my area, so I don't know if I'm going to the premiere on March 1st or that Thursday night, however you want to say it, but I will try to see it no later than Tuesday of next week. It depends on what my schedule is looking like, but I will hopefully have that uh, movie review up very soon. Of course, I'll watch the movie, then I'll do a review of it. But um, a lot of people have been sending me a lot of trailers and behind the scene footage. And to be completely honest, I haven't watched that much of the content because to be completely honest here, this is a Medea film. And that, I don't mean to say that in a bad way, but this is just uh, another Medea film. I mean, technically, yeah, this is the last one. But from the interviews I saw, you know, Tyler Perry is like, you know, hey, it's just that. I'm about to turn 50. I don't want to be aging along with the character, and I'm just ready to move on to another other project, specifically um, regarding his um, upcoming stuff with Viacom. But this is a Medea film, folks. I mean, this isn't something that I want to thoroughly dissect. I mean, for me, it's just a matter of will it make me laugh? You know, will there be some new content in there, not just the same old jokes when it comes to you know, Medea, Hattie, Aunt Bam. I, I just want to see if I get some good laughs. And if I get that, then I'm going to enjoy the movie. Like, I'm not expecting uh, Oscar nominations here, but it's just one of those things where I, I want to have a good time, you know? I want to have a good time. And uh, based off what I saw in the trailers, I'm not that impressed because, once again, it doesn't look like anything we haven't seen before. But I will admit, Tyler Perry did say in one article that, you know, this movie is for laughs, but is literally a black funeral and you in if you've been to a black family funeral you know that it's it's like a hot mess most of the time and being being that i can relate to that i do hope to get some good laughs out of it and that's what i i mean that's what i'm really expecting from the film and i'm going to be careful um if you're wondering why this video is like only one photo it's because if you noticed uh tyler perry's nobody's fool came out a few days ago Every video that I did about Nobody's Fool, I think I did three or four of them, like what to expect from the film, my movie review, and was the movie a flop. Every single one of those videos got, they didn't get taken down. I didn't get copyright strikes, but they were all marked for copyright. Yeah, they were flagged for copyright. Like it wasn't strikes, but they were flags. Like the video stayed up, but they were demonetized. So that's from Paramount, not Tyler Perry Studios, not own. I will try to get those you know, flip or overturn, but I don't know. So whenever it comes to these Medea family funeral videos, I will probably just put an old photo of Medea that has nothing to do with this um, movie. So they couldn't flag the, uh, the videos because, well, I'm not using content from that movie. And keep in mind, I never use clips or anything for nobody's fool. I just use photos and even pictures I took when I was at the theater. So, you know, screw you Paramount. So, yeah, this movie, I'm again, it's just a Medea movie. I feel like I will get some laughs because Eddie from If Loving You Is Wrong and RK and Gia from The Haves and the Have Nots will be in the film. But keep in mind, this movie was completed two years ago. Tyler Perry said he finished it two years ago, but he decided to shelf it because he was originally going to do Boo 1, Boo 2, the Medea Halloween films, and then Family Funeral. But he said, you know what? Let me shake it up. Let me say that movie for last. Let me do Acrimony nobody's fool and then the final Medea film so that's pretty much where we're at with this but just uh to give you my thoughts based off what i've seen on the trailers i'm not, i don't want to sound like i'm bashing the movie before it comes out out it's just like once again this is kind of stuff we've already seen or and i know Medea is funny to a lot of people and once again tyler perry he's the one with the studio and he's the one that's killing at the box office who cares what the the critics say, the movie reviewers, the Medea films make a lot of bank. And especially with the hype around this being the final Medea film, as well as the Medea farewell tour going on right now. I, and I'm just going to make a wild prediction, but it would not surprise me if this becomes the highest grossing Medea film ever. If I'm not mistaken, Medea goes to jail is still number one, but um, I would not be surprised if this movie does extremely well financially i'm not talking critic wise but financially so those are my expectations like i said i do hope to get some laughs in it but I, it, it's just like a lot of stuff i've already seen before so hopefully that's not the same thing with this but 
I do feel like this movie should capture the essence of a normal Medea movie. So I don't know, maybe there'll be some surprises I didn't expect. So I don't mean to sound negative, but I know there are some people who will love this to death no matter what. Some people will probably be sad because this is the final Medea movie. It makes me wonder if Tyler Perry added like a special match up a special message or anything because this is the final Medea film. So yeah. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um do you plan to see the movie anytime soon? Do you just plan to watch it when it comes out on DVD and Blu-ray? Who knows? Whenever Tyler Vision comes out, maybe the movie will already be on there. So yeah, be, be sure to go to the theater and watch it. Don't bootleg it or anything. I mean, I can't tell you what to do, but since this is the last Medea film, let's go out and just watch it in person, and then we can talk about it. Thanks so much for making it to the end of this video. Be sure to click the thumbs up button if you like what you just saw. And if you have anything you would like to add to the video itself, go down to the comment section below and type out your thoughts. And I also have social media related to the haves and have nots, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook page, Facebook group, Links to everything will be in the description below. And if you like action figures, video games, and trading cards, I have an eBay store as well where there's free shipping on everything. But I also have a second YouTube channel that I'm working on where I talk about things that are non Tyler Perry related such as anime, superhero shows and movies, music, pop culture, and sometimes political news depending on what the circumstances are. Be sure to check out that channel as well. In the top left hand corner you should see a picture of Candace Young. You can click on her to subscribe to the Haves and the Have Nots review. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers and if you like the video you just saw be sure to check out the other two videos that should be popping up on the right hand side. Trust me if you like this video you'll love them too. Once again thanks so much for visiting my YouTube channel and I'll talk to you in the next video.